Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Yakuza Like a Dragon. I'll get it right eventually. Last time we saw talked at all, I was up 10 levels lower with everybody. I got everybody in the mid-40s because I've tried this fight three or four times now and I lost every single time. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I have a different array of classes going on now. Three people using their default classes. Four people using their default classes. And three classes we haven't really touched, plus we have the musician again. Um, so everybody's basically the same. We do have one really interesting tidbit, which is... Ichiban is now using his ultimate weapon. I'm probably cheating getting that a little bit early. What you have to do is just literally... Grind... There's an item here? Grind to get it. Which really isn't that bad. Tojo Clock. I know what the purpose of those things are. So now, let's just go to Omi Lot, shall we? And we'll get started there. Mitsu, you took forever, man. How long were you going to leave me hanging? Sorry, Aniki. I had to find somewhere out of earshot. It's not so easy around here. Where are you now? Omi Alliance headquarters. The officers that got here early have me slaving away in the kitchen. They wanted to pregame, huh? I've been seeing tons of catering people going in. Oh, you have? Aniki, are you? Yeah, I'm just outside. Wanted to save you the trouble of calling me, but I guess it's too late for that. Why on earth would you do that? Arakawa-san's in there right now, isn't he? What? Yeah, he's here, but don't come in. I need to arrange a secure meeting spot for you two. I need more time. No way. You have no freaking clue how long I've been waiting for this. Hey, come on, dude. I told you to stay in Yokohama until I contacted you. Yeah, I think you might have said that. Might? I said it clear as day. Well, surprise, I'm here a little early. You would be too if you were me. <sighs> God damn it, man. Fine. But for now, get the hell out of here. You do know that if someone at HQ recognizes you, you're fucked, right? Proper fucked! Oh, chill out. It's not like the place is crawling with Omi or anything. It's just these catering guys rolling their stuff around. Hey, if I disguise myself as one of them, I could slip right in. No, 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 Kasuga. Stop right there. Don't even think about it. Me too. I need to see Arakawa-san. I need to! This has been on my mind ever since he shot me in Kamurocho. Don't you get that? No, you don't get it. You can't. And I don't give a shit. I'm going in. Wait, Aniki! Where is he in the headquarters? Look, you need to... Not gonna tell me? I see how it is. Guess I'll have to ask around inside. You're gonna get mobbed, dude! I'll take down anyone who stands between me and Arakawa-san. <sighs> Aniki... <sighs> hey... You just tell me where he is. I'll do my best to avoid any fights. I promise. <sighs> okay. Arakawa-san. He's in a room called the Dragon Chamber. Pretty deep inside HQ. Dragon Chamber. Got it. Is he alone? No. He has some guests. Three people. All right. Thanks, Mitsu. Aniki, are you really going to do this? Okay. I know where Arakawa-san is now. Finally beat it out of him, huh? Well, let's go then. No, I should do this alone. I'll be okay. And look, guys, I'm grateful to all of you for coming this far with me. But there'll be no hard feelings if you want to bail. Really? You're pulling this martyr shit now? Yeah, what's with pushing us away? You know we didn't come to Osaka for the pleasure cruise. True. Hey, look what I found. Well done. This box was just sitting over there. And by the way, I feel the same as the rest of them. The saga's been fun, but playing tourist is getting old. That's quite a find. It should make getting in much smoother. Guys, I... Thank you. Good stuff. Keep moving, keep moving! Straight back to the parking garage! That there's the waiting room. 
You lost or something, pal? Yeah? Hey, someone deal with this guy. It's all good. Hey, catering boys, over here. Careful where you step now. Everyone's famished as hell. Any moment, they're gonna start hollering for food. Yo, someone go see if any more trucks can fit. Is the beer here yet? These guys will need booze. Hey, Arakawa-san's in a back room called the Dragon Chamber. Just act natural. I like it. Alright, so... You're wondering, how bad is this? Well... In RPGs, I don't like to be over-leveled. You, if you've ever seen... If you saw Final Fantasy VIII, if you saw... Final Fantasy X, I don't go crazy for leveling. Because I want a challenge. Well... Hey, yeah. Or the ones on the watch. Yeah. Most likely. I'm sure they don't want people to slip it in. It's bad news we can cover against one cost to go. What's the plan? You know, we're just keep going. Figure, just don't get caught. Okay. Yep, follow my lead. Alright, so. You know, what is down there? I'm kind of curious. Eh, we'll just. I've done this part enough times, I'm over it. There's no way out. Okay. Other than they don't care about anybody else's face, which makes things easier. Now. Should I open it? Sweet! In Final Fantasy 8 and 10, you've always have that one boss that just skyrockets the difficulty. In 10, of course, you have the second Seymour fight. And in 8... I'm really trying to remember, to be honest with you. I need to play through 8 again. And it's bothering me, I cannot remember that. Um, dun 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 dun. You gotta sneak around here, that's important too. But you knew that already. Man, it is bothering me why I cannot remember what the, eight, the boss on 8 that you get stuck on until you figure out stuff. It's like a disc 2, I think, now I'm thinking about it, but it's not really the point. But. We were at that point of the game is we had to jump the difficulty. Now the last major boss we had, I need to back up. We were a pretty uh, like in the 30s, so jumping from 30 to 50 is a pretty huge change completely. Oh sweet, this is perfect timing. So it's. It is what it is. I actually haven't been caught with these guys. They're not really that hard to do. I mean, play Metal Gear Solid, which you all know. 100% VR missions come kind of a boss like that. That was like 10 years ago. I'm old, okay? Hmm? Elidor, I think it's the Dragon Chamber. Not like anywhere else. Let's find out. Let's go. That was unnecessary. Once you get to this port, you can't leave, so good luck. Have fun. Don't die. Thank you, Nama, for bringing a door I was trying to do. Now, this fight's hard. And I'm not happy about it. So, we need to figure out a lot of stuff quickly. And one of the goal is we're going to do constant debuffs. Because debuffs are super effective. I get these guys. Should I open it? Got it. So I'm not too concerned. But we're gonna have a lot more healing items than I normally buy at this point, because I don't like using items. You should know this by now. Should I open it? 
But we are going to steamroll this boss fight for real this time. The last three times I barrel got halfway through it, so I know how, I think I know what to do. I have a plan that I've made. Hey, who are you, Ferris? Oh, uh, just on our way to the Dragon Chamber. What a name, huh? Yeah, it's just up those stairs. But uh, did the acting captain ask for you? Uh, you mean Arakawa-san? Yeah, he totally did. If he'd called for you, he would have sent someone for you. Seems you're lacking an escort, buddy. Don't know what to tell you. He said something about how busy everyone is today, so we should just go right in. <laughs> no way. We can't just let people make that kind of claim and walk on by. Give me the name of the guy who said you could go in. I want to know their family, too. Sure. Um, what was it again? You're shady as hell, Scruffy. How about your name? <coughs> What's that, huh? No name that you'd recognize, but I'm from the Arakawa family. Ain't what I asked. What's your damn name? L look, man. Stop stalling and say it! Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. Dude, why not make up a name? Oops. Well, no point now. Sure. At least it's a cool ass name. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> so, we good? It also happens to be the name of the fucker the captain shot nope, in Nope, We're not so. good. Oh, shit. And for once, we got the numbers advantage here. You wanna take him out? Yeah. Hell yeah. Rolling time. You wanna fight? All right. This should be fun. All right, so this fight is really not bad. I don't want to use all my abilities. Okay, that's never fun. Dang, we almost got him there. That sucks. I'm trying to. That's. I mean, we'll be okay for the most part. I don't want to use any major abilities yet. Alright. Easy game, easy life. Two levels up. So we could use. No one's really complaining. Give me a hand. Do it. Let's get going. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Intruders! Sound the alarm! Isn't that the line? I don't know, man. Doesn't seem like you're gonna need the help to me. Oh, you got me there. Sitting around in this place has been killing me with boredom. I don't know about you guys, but I could use a little excitement. Let's get them, Kasuga. If they wise up and call for help, we're screwed. Huh. You think we'd do that? Not a chance in hell. Never met a problem the two of us couldn't handle by ourselves. Music to my ears. I'll take it. Something about that kind of confidence I have always respected. If I had to guess, you two were officers. <laughs> Not too far off the mark. Good eye on that one. Uh, Ichiban, something feels kind of off about them. I know. Wouldn't expect any less from the Omi Alliance HQ. About time you guys got that through your heads. Yo. I got a question for the guy rocking the eye patch. Do you now? I've heard stories about a guy from the Tojo clan they call the Mad Dog of Shimano. <laughs> and? 
That wouldn't happen to be you, or would it? Well, who's keeping track anymore? All I'm saying is, if that's you, why the hell are you guarding the stairs of fucking Omi Alliance HQ? <laughs> so you want to keep asking questions? Well, then good luck beating the answers out of us. <laughs> Talking kind of big there, aren't you, Majima? Hope you haven't gotten rusty after all that sitting around. Get out of here with that! How dare you ruin my big setup with that shit! Don't you worry, fellas. I've been itching for a fight for a long damn time! Let's go! It's Goro Majima's comeback tour! Like, damn it. you know what? I want to restart the whole battle. Because I just got completely screwed with them killing me, like, two of my people immediately when I couldn't recover. So instead of, like, I got a confidence space for doing that? Sweet. I guess I'll be editing a lot of this part out. Alright, round two. That was shenanigans. I just missed that, but... Alright, so... I'm gonna go ahead and get the heal going on, because we're gonna need it. Dang it, Nanba. That move hurts a lot for no reason. There we go. Just power nap yourself up to make sure you're good. You're probably gonna get tagged here. No, you're not. Wow, you're already doing double game. We're already doing a lot better here. Now, I'm gonna troll here. Are you ready for this epic play? I'm not dealing with this part. We're gonna kill these things as fast as humanly possible. Really? Dang it. Dang it. Alright, let's get rid of these fools now. Let's lower their attack. And everybody failed. After him, the other guy's okay. Alright, next thing I want to do here is I bought the Stamina XX just for Kostika so we can spam attacks. And I know for this fight particularly, I'm gonna need all the abilities possible to win. I wish I knew the turn order. Yeah, I guess we're on. That's okay. He's not the person I really need. Here we go. Don't get caught with personal. Cool. 
It should force it. No! Okay, there he is. Part 2! He comes out. He's gonna brawl with us. We're gonna get destroyed. Alright. The eye patch guy's a pain in the ass already. And now he's got backup? Hey, this shit can go sideways quick. If you're feeling low, don't push through the pain. Stop and heal or just defend, okay? Come up! So, again, same thing I did earlier with that 300-300. The... Freak, what is it called? Stamina XX. I'm gonna throw that at... Him. So keep his MP up. Nanba's not gonna make it too much farther. Because they're gonna do some buffs here. And buffs hurt. Ow. And now I'm gonna do Pyrrhus for example and Costco who can revive himself if he goes down, which is very important to me. Now we go back to Yes! Finally he gets poisoned. What? That's gonna hurt. God, I didn't think that insta kill him though. Here we go. I won't be able to recover from this. Wait, what happened? Where did I mean if anybody I want to take that it's him Alright, money is gonna be an issue in this fight. Well, the biggest thing that I'm trying to prevent is they have a tag team attack. Oh, God. Oh, man, I don't want to waste an attack expected from him. But Costa ain't gonna. That's unfortunate. Okay. We're... You know what? Give me... I don't want any of that. We'll just heal everybody again. Those who protect again, get our defense back up. It should be the big attack. No. Yes, it is. He's going against Costa as usual. This is what this attack looks like. It looks like it attacks everybody in the room. And it really only gets it to one person, which will always be Costa guy.
And it has like 300 damage. Of course, we're going to play extremely defensive. If Kasuka dies, of course, we lose. It's not the ability I thought it was. This is going to hurt. Alright. He's almost dead. We need to finish him off. Eight thirty two is a good number. Let's go. Take your best shot. Don't you just dance it over here? It's the greatest thing ever. Oh, now it's dead. Okay, Kosk is next. Unfortunately, the play is... is play safe. Play safe. Around trains will be okay. Namba needs out regardless what I do here, though. Heal our team what we have. And then a dodging's next turn will get Namba out. Okay, good. That was very good. Just put Seiko in. No! Alright, that's unfortunate I have to heal again like that, but... Come on, she just came up! Okay, so I think we're in really good shape. It's just gonna be him versus us now. I think a 4v1, he's resistant to that. Okay, I gotta say, this is a really good idea to give back to it. A, it makes me laugh. And B, he's pretty effective with this stuff. So you're strong against that. What fatal rush? You're strong against that. Unlucky dice. Let's see if we can get something good here. Accuracy fail, that's really good. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, that was useful, okay. So... Is guns effective against you? Guns are super effective against you, okay. Got 
200 didn't do a whole lot. Well, welcome to the game. She literally gets in, almost dies immediately. Oh my god, he can guard now. I don't... This is very frustrating. I thought this fight would be pretty easy, but he has a guard. I mean, I kind of like the accuracy fails what I need. I mean, it doesn't hurt that. No, don't go after him. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. You're gonna get stomped. You're in for it now. Uh, let's get it boost up. I put my his last weapon shot. It's still good damage to that guard. I'm gonna keep spamming unlucky die towards them. Because I feel like that's the play, is how we're here to use her Tachi one. Dang it. Nice. Well, still sma- is he resistant to elements too? Yes. Okay. Actually, let's use her, get her MP up. I actually get her to sell this. Who do I showcase her a little bit? She fastest boy. Here you are. Thank you. You're a nice lady. I didn't mean to use healing vibrations. Dang it. That's a waste of a turn. Oh god. Nice. I feel like everybody who can learn magical voice should learn magical voice. Well, that did nothing. Ow. I'm hoping that he'll start missing. There we go. Dang, that does so little damage. I'm 
I'm hoping that he'll start missing. I mean, I'm so glad he does so much damage, because this would be over quickly. We did. 92. Watch me. That concerns me that that's bad. Don't do it healing, because he's not gonna heal. Watch him fully heal next turn. I can live with that. I mean, I could probably hold out and do. Oh, I forgot about the. I'll push my limb. Take this. We have plenty of people that can heal. Right. I, I could have probably done uh, the fire attack. That's what I really want to is accuracy down. I think his next attack is over. After him, yes. Banish him. Three. This fight's all finally over. Sujimon Master. Well, thank you. Only three people got a job level. Excellent. It really wasn't that useful. Is this a Phantom Drive? Huh. Yeah, you, actually, she's... Look at that, she's really strong at physical for some reason. Physical and healing. <laughs> oh, that's good. You guys are making this even more fun than I remember. Yeah, totally. We're all having the time of our lives. These guys are freaking monsters. You're not so weak yourselves. Perfect. Now we can stop holding back. What? Wait, you two were holding back that whole time? Guys, don't let him get to you. That just means we're gonna have to step it up. That's enough. Orikawa? Would you all mind putting this fight on hold until tomorrow? Please, Ichi. <sighs> Hey, isn't that him? Yeah, it's Arakawa. <gasps> Boss! Ichi, allow me to present the sixth chairman of the Tojo clan, Daigo Dojima. Former sixth chairman? Oh my gosh, another former guy? Wait a second. The six chairmen's here? Six chairmen. This man used to be one of mine. His name's Ichibang. Ichibang Kasuga, of the Arakawa family. Loyal to the Tojo clan. I'm Daigo Dojima. I see you've met Goro Majima. And his sworn brother, Taiga Saijima. For real? You're telling me they're on our side? Oh, way to go, sixth chairman! What? Now how are we supposed to finish the fight? It was just getting good! Relax. I already said there'd be more fighting tomorrow, Majima-san. <laughs> if you were listening, you would have known that. What's up with you? We weren't planning on fighting. But we're not gonna let you hurt him this time, Arakawa. 
Don't worry. I... I don't plan on shooting him. That's pretty vague. Sorry, but you're gonna have to do better than that. Of course. Let me explain what I can. This way, everyone. Come with us. Wait. Hmm. Looking forward to next time. Ichiban Kasuga. Great as next time. Wait, we're seriously gonna walk in here? That's his three guess. Oh. Sit down, Ichi. The rest of you are welcome to take a seat as well. Okay. I can do that. So, to start, Majima, Saejima, and the chairman have all been laying low. For a while, actually. It's been two years now since the Kamurocho 3K plan. Right now, the only people who know they're in this room are also in this room. The Kamurocho 3K plan was when the young master cracked down on crime, right? Yes. And you might already know this. It only succeeded because they had intel from a Tojo clan insider. <sighs> you might have heard rumors that the insider leaked the info to Masato after he was elected governor. That insider was myself. All right, but if the sixth chairman's not gonna speak up, I'm guessing there's more to this story? I got that right, sixth chairman? Ichiban, easy. It's fine, I'll explain. <sighs> Patriarch Arakawa didn't betray the Tojo clan. He leaked the Tojo clan's inside information with my complete approval. The hell? At my request, Arakawa-san played the part of a scheming two-faced traitor. And ultimately that led to him having to shoot you, unfortunately. I'm sure that hasn't been easy for either of you to come to terms with. But that can't be the whole story, right? It's too easy. You've told me this much. You might as well tell me everything. Please. <laughs> well, it's not like you've left me anywhere to run. You don't mind, do you, Arakawa-san? Sounds like he's gonna make this trip worth it, Ichiban. It all started when Masato became governor. Of course, he was Ryo Aoki by then. He started pushing the Arakawa family to leak inside info, which he'd paired with his 3K plan and used it to crush the Tojo clan. At first, I refused. Then he threatened to arrest me under anti-Yakuza laws as many times as it took for my family to collapse. He threatened his own father? What? He did. And as I was trying to think of a solution, Sawashiro came up with one. His idea was to strike a bargain, to give up the info as long as Masato agreed to extend us government protection. At the very least, that would keep him from grinding the family into dust. <laughs> Sometimes I think Sawashiro is softer on Masato than I am. I didn't agree with him at first, and besides, it wasn't my decision to make. I laid it all out to the sixth chairman. Told him what Masato had asked of me. And how, if I turned down the request, he'd probably just threaten another family. Eventually, someone would give in and betray the Tojo clan. I couldn't allow that to happen. I knew the chairman would think like Masato in a way I couldn't. 
Not only because they're closer to each other in age, but also because he's my son. You never truly know your children. You yearn to, but in the end, they're a different generation. <laughs> How'd the sixth chairman get so popular with old fools? <laughs> You're no spring chicken yourself, you know. If Arwakawa-san hadn't gone along with the plan, he would have been arrested under some false pretense. The anti-Yakuza laws are so open-ended, the government's got a vice grip on us. We've come into an age where politicians and law enforcement can use these laws to bend the Yakuza to their will. Which means... the Yakuza way of life is dead as we know it. Soon enough, the only thing a Yakuza crest will symbolize is a government slave. The Tojo clan aren't anyone's slaves. Sounds dramatic. What else do you call those so completely under the control of others? We've already had a man of some importance imprisoned for his refusal to submit. He had a subordinate who fought back against police harassment, and they found him liable as the man's superior. That was Masaru Watase, captain of the Omi Alliance, de facto leader of Japan's largest Yakuza organization. He gets out of prison tomorrow, and this headquarters will be his first stop. That's why we've gone into hiding. We know what tomorrow will bring. What? What's it gonna bring? You gonna try to do something to Watase? Don't tell me you're gonna... Attack him? No. What good would that do us? Yeah, true. But what is it then? We're going to dissolve Japan's two largest factions. The Omi Alliance and the Tojo Clan. Watase will make a public announcement of his plan to file the paperwork. Whoa! Dissolve the Omi and the Tojo? Just like that? Not just like that. Watase and I considered this carefully. Unless prison changed his mind. But there's no way all the current Yakuza would accept this! True. And how they react is anyone's guess. Tomorrow is going to be a day of reckoning for us all. That's why I need all the allies I can get. People I can trust completely. Ichiban, didn't Mitsu say the same thing to you? Ugh. <sighs> Means he's been on the inside format for Arakawa. Wait, what? <sighs> so that's how you managed to talk to Arakawa san last night. Damn it, man. If you just had some patience, it would have gone way smoother. Yes. It's your fault for making me wait. You know how I am. And you freaking traded blows with Majima san and Saijima san? just about shit my pants when I heard that. <laughs> Any other crazy ass things you did in there? Oh, shut up. I've got enough people nagging me about it. It's nobody else's business. <sighs> okay, whatever. The fact remains Captain Watase leaves prison today. He'll make a beeline to HQ. Arakawa-san and all those Tojo officers have been waiting a long time for this. All we have to do is follow the plan. Yeah, the plan. Well, if Arakawa-san thinks it's the right move, I'll go along with it. Aniki, you gotta realize, Arakawa-san risked his life for this opportunity. Right now, we need allies who are committed. Does that describe you, Aniki? <laughs> Again with this ally crap. I said I'm on board, and so are my friends from Ijin Show. What more do you want? Talk about committed. That's my pals to a T. We finish what we start. That's a little more epic than I remember it. But we're in if Ichiban is. Well, whenever you're ready, just take a taxi to HQ. I'll come out to get you so we can avoid the disaster that was last time. See you there. Hey. Ichiban, what, if Arco said it's true, we should treat tomorrow like it could be their last. Once we get the Omi HQ, they might turn it back. Are you sure you're ready? What? Okay. So, if I know JRPGs like I know JRPGs, the way that Namba is talking, we're reaching the point of no return. Which could be very good or very bad. I'm looking at Party right now, and it's looking very bad. 
And also while I'm looking at like task. We have 33 out of 52 done. Which is good progress. I still haven't finished that. Or that one. So. It's. We have a long way to go with side quests in general. So I'm not 100% sure what I should do. Because we're missing 19. Which really isn't that bad. So I think what we're going to do is next on Yakuza. Yakuza like a dragon. Yakuza? Yakuza like a dragon. That's right. We're going to go do some more side stuff. Because I'm so sick of grinding. And then... We're going to see if we can get to 50 through side stuff. And move on. If we can't hit 50 through side stuff. Because we are in chapter... Well, we're in chapter 12 currently. So, I don't think... I actually have a sub-stories list when they unlock. There's no more unlock between 13 and 14. So, I'm really curious to see what is going to happen. So, guys, next time Yakuza like... Yakuza like a dragon. Yakuza... Whatever, like a dragon. Let's go figure it out. I'll see you then.